Freedom Daily News. Anti-American Pernick now considering job with Muslim after nobody in the NFL would sign him. It is obvious that Colin Pernick is not going away anytime soon, and now that the NAACP is involved you know it will turn into a three-ring circus. These race baiters have camped outside the NFL executives' offices demanding that Pernick is given a job. At the moment no one in the NFL has budged and given in to their pushy demands, but that looks like it is about to change. And, it appears that Pernick is getting desperate for work, and is considering a job with this Muslim in the league. Pernick is a lightning rod for controversy which is why many NFL executives have passed on the mediocre quarterback. Many teams such as the Miami Dolphins, Baltimore Ravens, and the Seattle Seahawks have passed over the disrespectful player. The Miami Dolphins even went as far as to offer retired quarterback Jay Cutler $10 million to play a game. So, as the offers continue to dry up Colin Pernick is getting nervous as he witnesses his bank account dwindling. Which is why this anti-American football player is considering taking a job with Jacksonville Jaguars Muslim owner Shad Khan. Apparently, Shad Khan has a soft spot for the anti-American football player and might be willing to give him a look. Khan said on Thursday that he would be interested in bringing Pernick on to see if he would work out. Currently, Khan has a first-string quarterback position open and has Blake Bortles and Chad Khan battling for the coveted spot and is willing to throw Pernick into the mix as well. Here is more CBS Sports. The Jacksonville Jaguars currently have one of the ugliest quarterback situations in the NFL. With just two weeks to go until the regular season, Jaguars coach Doug Maroney still has no idea who his starting quarterback is going to be for the team's regular season opener on September 10. The job was supposed to go to Blake Bortles. But he's been so bad this preseason that Maroney is now giving Chad Ken a shot to win the job. And will be the team starter for Thursday's game against Carolina. So what happens if both quarterbacks look bad against the Panthers? Well, it seems that Jaguars owner Shad Khan wouldn't be against signing Colin Pernick. Before the Jags game against the Panthers, Mike Dempsey of WJXL Radio in Jacksonville ran into Khan and asked him if he'd be okay with the Jaguars adding Pernick. Khan's answer? Absolutely. Unfortunately for Pernick, that doesn't necessarily mean the Jaguars are going to call him tomorrow. The catch here is that Khan would only be on board with adding him if his football people recommended it. The crazy thing is that Maroney was actually asked about possibly adding a quarterback to the roster after Bortles struggled during the Jaguars' 12-8 loss to the Buccaneers last week. I don't work with the outside-the-roster stuff, Maroney said when asked if the starting quarterback might not be on the roster yet. So for me, I can't answer that question. I work with what we have. That's not exactly a resounding no. Pernick would actually make some sense playing for a Jaguars team that's built to run the ball. During San Francisco's Super Bowl season in 2012, Pernick was the quarterback for a 49ers offense that finished fifth in the league in total rushing yards. Anyway, you can bet the guy below will be hoping that the Jaguars do sign Pernick, and that it's mainly because he's already shelled out some serious money for an official jersey. Though Pernick fans should not get too excited about this at all. It appears that politics could come into play between Shad Khan and Colin Pernick. While Pernick is against President Trump, Khan is actually a supporter of the president and gave Trump a hefty donation during his campaign. At any rate, this just proves yet again that the reason why Pernick has not been hired is more about lack of talent than racism. Pernick is not the best player out there and when you are not the best at something you make up the rest with heart. Many NFL executives do not see that coming from Pernick and why should they? Over the last six months, Pernick and his girlfriend have mocked the NFL and created a media circus. These oppressed individuals have single-handedly created more division and turned a once entertaining sport into a political event. If Pernick has an issue with what is going on in the country then he has every right to protest but on his own time. When Pernick puts on that jersey he is no longer representing himself but the entire team and the fans.
His sole duty is just to play the game well and keep his nose clean. That's it. There is a reason why people do not like this guy and if continues with these antics he might get passed over again, and he only has himself to blame, to blame.